I'm trying to paint. Today I am painting the Orc Warboss Grook Face Ripper from the Stormclaw box set. Paints I'm going to be using will be Ushahapti Bone, um, Lothurn Blue, Iron Breaker, Nuln Oil, uh, Jean Steeler Purple, Joe Kiro Orange, White Scar, uh, Skaven Blight Dinge, Evilson Scarlet, Death World Forest, Old Thorn Grey, that is Dornstone, Fenrisian Grey, and Abaddon Black. I only just realized I didn't really fit them in very well. So now I'm onto my Gene Steeler Purple, and I'm just using this for like the inside of his mouth, like his tongue and stuff. And the same with little, little big squig person thing that we have here, as well as getting the hair and things on the back. You know, I don't know what they are. I don't know why they have random hair. Then I'm using my Death World Forest. Now this is my main skin tone that I'm choosing to use. And I'm just like applying this over all the um, parts. I do the skin, I do it in stages. Like I always do the underneath first. And obviously if he was naked, the skin would be the first layer. And then you have like its clothes build up on top of that. That's why I now go into my Femrisian Grey to get like his t-shirt and stuff. It just makes sense to build up like that. It avoids getting paint on unnecessary areas afterwards. And then I go to my Ushahapti bone. And with my Ushahapti bone, I am like doing his trousers and stuff. And stuff, really, that's about it. No, it's not really. I'm doing like these teeth here. And I'm doing the teeth here too. Like he has teeth hanging on him. There's teeth on the squeak. There's teeth on like the actual orc himself. And I also figured I'd do one of these little pistol cases. I can't think of what they're called, holsters on his back. And then I'm using my Dornstone, and with my Dornstone, I'm just getting the stones under his feet. I mean, that makes sense, right? Like, they're standing on rocks. And then I'm on my Abaddon Black. This is the neat note where I got my Dornstone all over my shoes. And then, yeah, get them a nice thing. I want them to be black. I also briefly go over his um, left hand shoulder pad, I think it is. But yeah. Then I'm onto my iron breaker, and this is just to get all the metally areas. And these count as things such as like his paraclore. I'm doing this one shoulder pad, that's the one that I didn't put any black onto. And I'm picking out like his gun and like all these sorts of things. There's random chains and stuff like that too. Now, here in between his legs, he's got like this metallic armor loincloth thing. And that's an important thing not to miss, as well as the steel toe caps on his boots. These are common on almost every orc, so if you're an orc player, you know to get those. And like his boss ball, I'm doing the whole thing in the same silver iron breaker color. And his pistols and these random bombs he keeps up his butt and all these sorts of things. Evilson Scarlet. Um, yeah, missiles, rockets, whatever you want to call them. I'm doing those red, and they're going to be like red and white in the end. And then I'm doing like these random iconography thingies that he's got on his shoulder. And our little pretty beautiful big squig friend here. Like he has to be, well it doesn't have to be red. I saw a purple one the other day and he was painted beautifully. Like he was really cool. But yeah, I'm getting him red. And I wanted to do the other holster red. I figured, you know, I'm using a lot of these colors so I may as well like spread it around a bit. And I'm onto my Lothar and blue. It's just pip out, pip, 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 pip out. Yeah, let's just pick out these wires here. And also, like, um, I'm doing my squig eyes. Just because I want him to have, like, beautiful blue eyes. So I can stare into them lovingly. Um, then I'm onto my ult one grey. And I'm just doing here. I, I always looked at that and I was like, what the hell am I even painting there? But yeah, I'm doing bandages. He's got, like, bandages on his arms. Because, you know, he's a badass and he's, like, injured. And he wants to, like, be proud and show it off like one of them rappers who sticks a plaster on their face and stuff. He's like that, basically. And then I'm doing like the rockets here, just getting the middle sections. They're like nicely, like, they're like really simply like carved, if you know what I mean. Like there's a clear line to like paint between. And then I'm onto my Nuln Oil, and this is my main shade. I'm just getting this in the cracks of pretty much everywhere on the entire model. And I actually show you like a few brief things where I'm putting it here. Like I'm, looks like I'm just slapping it on, it's because I am. But like, don't. Try and keep it in the cracks, it just makes it easier later on when you're going over the main surface areas again. Such as now, with my Death World of Forest. And I'm just picking out the details of his face again, and like all his skin, and like his big ass muscles that he's got going on his arms here. And then, uh, yeah, I'm using a combination of 
White Scar and Death World Forest. And I actually used like three parts Death World Forest, one quarter White Scar, and this is just to give me a slightly lighter color, which I can then pick out more of the like raised area of like his muscles and his face and things like this. And I'm not just replacing the old Death World Forest on there. Like it goes from like the shaded part to like the death wolf forest and then this color and like you can bring it up even more you can go even more like variety in between and stuff but i'm just keeping it simple with just those three different shades and it works like i think it's a good combination like, you look at his face here it's really coming out nicely then i'm onto my fenrisian gray our evil space wolf like nemesis's color and yeah i'm just doing his shirt in this color then gene stealer purple I'm not doing the whole inside of the mouth again. I'm not picking out that detail. It's not necessary. I'm just getting his tongue and again this weird little wig that he likes to have hanging up there. Then I'm doing my Ushapti bone to get all the teeth again. Just like clean them up. You gotta clean your teeth, people. Well, you don't have to. Like, they can be like, if you want an unhygienic orc, then you can leave his teeth dirty. But I'm, I'm cleaning his teeth up. Same with his trousers here, just picking out the creases. Like helping them stand out a little bit better. Onto my Lothurn blue. And here I'm just again neatening up my wires and things, as well as little big squiggy faces eyes here. It's a really careful thing, you just gotta be careful. I mean if at this stage if you do like splodge it on the red, you can literally just wash the eye creases, I the I lined the eye out and then just put the red on again. But yeah, then I'm on my iron breaker. Now here, I'm doing like all the main silver surface areas. I watched this tutorial recently of an orc being painted and it was pretty bad. And two things bugged me about it. One, it said the title was how to. And I'm thinking, no, that's not how to do that. And then another thing it said was, you shouldn't do your metal shiny. You shouldn't do this. You should do that. I'm thinking, no, I can do it how I want. If I want to do my metal shiny, I'm going to do it shiny, you know? And that's why I like mine is like trying to paint. I'm just trying to paint. I'm not telling you how you should or shouldn't do it. I'm just trying to paint and I'm just showing you what I did. So here I'm using my Evil Sun Scarlet and I'm just like touching up all those areas, including like on Squiggy and like all these other parts. Then with my Skaven Blight Dinge, I'm like trying to highlight the black parts, such as like the boots and the black shoulder pad and thing. It's really hard to see, but that's a good thing. Like, that's a good thing. And then I'm on my Dornstone, just needing on my rocks. You can do this as a dry brush if you want for a more realistic look, but I'm an illustrator, so it's easier for me to just do it liney like that. And you can also um use the Dornstone on the Skin and Blight Tinge to try and bring out that highlight if you choose to. Then I'm on my Ulthawan Grey, and I just highlighted the bandages, and I'm trying to do the checkers here. And I prefer to freehand them just because you can make it fit to the armor better and since the model's painted i think that if you use like the decals decals whatever they're called like it doesn't look right like because they're so neat compared to a paint job where most people can't paint as neat as a decal because if they can they won't be using the decal in the first place and i think decals just stand out badly then i'm onto my joe gear orange and i'm just highlighting all my red parts here and this is where our squig really starts to like stand out like he starts to look super cool super pretty and like working on all the like raised areas of his face around his teeth and you can do as much or as little of them as you choose like you don't have to highlight every single line like i have a tendency to go a bit extreme with my highlights but like you can just do a few like the main raised ones to help bring it out and again i'm doing it like for this gun holster on his back and picking out the stitches and things like that it's easy to miss them. And the same with like the missiles, I go over and do that too. All the red basically. And then I'm onto a white scar. Now I as always with I go well over the top of my white scar. And the other day I like totally destroyed a hell brute just because I went crazy with a white scar. But we we don't need to talk about that. So yeah, I'm just picking out like all the teeth here, picking out like the boss pole, the metal areas. Because I'm going shiny. Because I can. And yeah. And now here, what I'm doing is face paint. And I know you're probably at first thinking, whoa, you can't just be putting white onto green, but I am. I am, because I'm doing face paint. And I think most orcs look better with a bit of face paint on. And I didn't really show it very clearly there. You see it at the end a lot better. Here, I'm highlighting the blue of the wire to help. I, 
I always think the white on that bright Lothurn blue is really like, um, I want to say attractive. I don't mean in, you know, ooh, that's pretty kind of way, but I do mean in a pretty kind of way at the same time. Like, it just stands out. It looks good. Like, it's bright and it's good. And um, again, I'm picking out with White Scar here on the Ulf One Grey on those bandages just then. You can do that if you're doing white armor. Like, doing Ulf One Grey and then just highlighting it with White Scar it works for white armor. And yeah, more of just doing the Fermerzine Grey here and just literally I'm picking out all parts pretty much everywhere with this. Then onto the Gene Stealer Purple, it's my last color. And as you can see, I'm just picking out the lip here. And you can water it down, slowly build it up, get it until it's purple enough for you. And you can see his face paint there, it looks a lot better. And this is our final model. I'll just give him a little twirl here so you can see all the details and everything that I've done on this. And this is pretty much exactly how I wanted it to go. Like, I like bright colors, I like strong highlights, and it's more like a car it's a really cartoony sculpt. Here you can see the checkers, like how I've done them, again, cartoony, to fit with the armor, and I highlighted the old one gray again with the white scar there. And it came out really good, I think. And my squig, I think the highlights of the, on the orange on the red really came out, and it's bright, really shows him off. It's a really nice sculpt. Please like this video and subscribe, and you can click here for other orc videos that I have done, and I do videos for all other armies, as you will see if you do subscribe. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.